Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Boy 4 playing Führerreich as Zweed Afrikanische Republik. So last time we beat the snot out of the French, with help of course the Italians, and a good chunk of the Germans and Dutch state, and various other allies. Now, they're dead. However, we have some resistance issues in some locations, such as Central African Federation, West Africa Federation, and right now we're using District Force Maine to pacify them. That's not good enough. So what we're going to do, we want to pacify, so we'll put these as garrison soldiers. Uh, put you on medium, that's fine. Well, that would be good. We already duplicated garrisons. Let's take off that. We don't need those. And we're going to research military police as fast as possible. Uh, oh, militia is five and a half. Infantry is still better. Um, really? Actually, hmm. So right now it's Seven and a half, and I'm joined here with my cat, Pinky, who's having a good time. Uh, next to me. Seven and a half. Cavalry is definitely better. Remove. Twenty-five, that's a lot. That is quite a bit, actually. Can we just replace all this with... That costs thirty... Oh my god, that's so much. So be it, we're just gonna throw on these guys on then. Gives a little bit more suppression. So be it, whatever. And convert those guys, because that means we'll need less... To there. And actually, change, let's change the symbol to for garrisons. Skulls? Uh, res that looks like resistance. There you go. Cool. So, at the end of the last episode, I said I wanted to prove ourselves to Adam Dressler, who's pretty progressive, who probably doesn't care about Africa at all. So, here's the plan. We could get involved with the Soviet Union on this side, or we can help out the Japanese in Asia, and then we can help capitulate the Chinese government, which we could probably do better against the Chinese than the Soviets, because we don't have tanks. All we have are men and some artillery shells. If we take out the national government, that means Japan can send more divisions to fight the Soviet Union. Thinking about like that, since they are in the Stahl Pact, so. And as long as we help out the Stahl Pact, we'll be doing pretty darn well. And they're doing okay against Ukraine. If Germany starts falling, then we might some, send some divisions up there. But I can't send too much of anyone that direction. And are you actually set to go somewhere here? No? Maybe? Oh, you're set to... Who the heck? Um, let's see, you guys are, oh, you guys are down there, you know what, I'm going to leave all this unoccupied to a degree, because I have a plan for what's going to happen, so I'm going to send you guys over here, we're at peace, and it looks like the Japanese could really use help here, and we could probably gain quite a bit of experience fighting off the Chinese as they're trying to fight off Yunnan, but let's go ahead and do this, there we go, nice, very nice, we got enough manpower, we need more support equipment, oh, quite a bit of lag, okay, whatever, whatever, Infantry equipment should be okay. That should be okay. We're going to do this next. Uh, and I definitely want to build up some more military factories and refineries. That is good. The Germans are moving around. Awesome. And the reason why I'm going to go to the Chinese... Or help the Japanese help to take out the Chinese is because... Uh, one reason. Well, frankly. The, the Chinese don't have a navy, so I can send them over. They're pretty risk-free. And we're not even at war yet. So, riots in Cape Town last night in response to the enshrinement of segregation as law. Riots broke out across Cape Town. Men and women of native descent, alongside those of white settlers' ancestry as well, vandalized shop fronts, stormed government buildings, and fired weapons at police forces. Some reports have even indicated unrest and uncertainty from within the city's police force as well. Some in the government are calling for an immediate occupation of the city with the contingent of the army, something which would strain our military in its greatest time of need. Yet, if we allow the riots to continue, they will undoubtedly take a toll on our legitimacy as a government and weaken our domestic standing at the worst possible moment. Riots occur? No, 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 no. Send in the army. And if this turns into a civil war, we're going to beat down some people. Oh, we have Madagascar, too. Ah, so nice. Our own path. Very good. And we just got that stability back. Love it. And, and, actually, what national spirits do we have? An independent society. Imperial unity. Independent at last. That's very nice. Independent society. Oh. That's a lot of political power. So, I, we can't do our old claims yet, just because the UK is not at war with Deutsches Reich, French Republic, or Soviet Union. Uh, we are, we finished this path, which is nice. Let us go ahead and do defensive tactics. Our home is what we fight for. Defensive tactics are essential to ensuring that it remains pristine and unspoiled. So my hope is that the Germans do not cooperate with the British. They shouldn't. They really shouldn't. But they do have the option of going with, cooperate with the British, which the British hopefully will reject them. Hmm. We'll see what happens though. So let's get our size, get our size, get our guys over there. That's fun with me and crack down on all dissent and help out the Japanese who 
probably not the Russians, as I have a little sip of my coffee here. Right, Pink? Take a nap. Take a nap, Pinky. Hmm. What a beautiful animal. Oh, good, 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 good. And you guys are in the... Well, some of you guys are in the water. Some of you guys are not. Yeah, just let everyone come right over here. Go ahead and leave and come over here. Since we're at peace, they're not going to kill us. Wait. The UK owns way high weight. Is this my Victoria 2 game when I'm playing as the Russian Empire? They took the same place. Uh, We good. We good right now. That's the case. You know what? You guys. You guys have done a great job. Go ahead and train. Since, there's, since we probably won't need to send any things over here. Yeah, with the Chinese pushing, that's why I want to help these guys out first. I will join the war, Dressler. Just you wait. Just wait. Oh. Local rubber plant expansion. Yes, please. If I could get more steel, that would be great. Steel and aluminum. That's what we really need. So, I'm actually just going to go ahead and mm, buy someone else with political power. Russia, no thank you. Biders are okay. I could really use another military factory. And then I'm going to grab another civilian factory. And then another dockyard. I love that option if you're right so much. We can just buy a factory. Oh, look at that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Torpedo threes. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Oh, but I don't have enough... XP for that. Ooh, that, I don't like that. For now, do that as well. Um, I guess technically we could put these on first. That'd be fine. Three more. Great. Do we have any radar? Oh, we do have a little bit of radar. That'd be really good. Good. This looks like such a good place to get more army XP that we need. Since we don't have a theorist. It really sucks. And these guys are, well, taking forever to get over there, but makes sense. So how are the Germans doing? They are... They're doing okay. They're fighting the Ukrainians as well. It'd be great if the Ukrainians and Soviets killed each other off, but we'll see what happens. Oh, they're... Pushing Ar Arabia. Okay, we have defensive tactics. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully we don't go to war with Italy or the UK before, you know, we're done with the Soviet Union, but lessons from the British. The British, for all of its faults, has taught us much. Learning a little more from it wouldn't hurt, and we could provide much-needed insight into the weakness of our own army. Absolutely. State of Iran looking a little tall there. British Mesopotamia. Oh, man. Hopefully we take out the Italians first. So this way, then we just completely focus on the UK, because they're they're expanding quite a bit. And what is America doing? I mean, they have a lot of... Oh, 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 oh. You're putting the Southern Balkans in their place. Okay, they're going to go to war with Mexico. Nice. Or get an annexed war goal against them. They already have a lot of puppets, though. Yes. Do they have their own faction? No, that's disappointing, but that's okay. They have a lot of puppets. Holy cow. Including Mexico. Honduras, Salvador. Uh, just casual American things intervening in Central American and South American ideals. Ah, I love it. Guns are doing really well. Really well in guns. We're doing so well. I'm going to pop you down there. Get some artillery so we can make some artillery, boys. We got a good amount of steel. What do you want, man? Uh, I'd love to, but my guys aren't there just yet, my friends. We're getting there. We're getting there. Stop pressuring us. Pressuring us. Pressuring us. Pressuring us. Pressuring me. I can't speak right now. Enough. Stop pressuring me, man. I gotta make sure that we get there first. And then we go to war. Actually, am I doing radar twos yet? No, we must have throw radar ones on there. 72.4 attack. Mm. But I can't do that yet. And we're almost there. And now I can. I love it. All right. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to do as well. And I'll show you in just a little bit what I mean. You guys go to South African Theater 1. Do that. We don't need more convoys for now. Uh, one division's great. Another infantry division to help be on the line. So, with, when we get more arm XP, I'm going to make starting, once we have enough arm XP, 10 combat with divisions to cover the almost every front that we have with potential enemies, including the Italians and the British. 10 combat with infantry divisions to merely hold the line just in case things go south really quickly. Over time, we'll upgrade them. Iran. Iran, what, what the hell are you doing? Western laws. The question about Western laws. Secular education. Foreign policy. Iranian uh, dentism. 
Mesopot oh, Mesopotamia, Azerbaijan, war with Armenia. They must have done that. That is certainly interesting. Well, looks like Armenia's going to go bye-bye. Oh, Germany, 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 why? What are the casualties like? It can't be good between the Germans and the Soviets. Third of a million. Ah, that's not bad, actually. They've got up over half a million, but, you know, the Soviet Union is a pretty big place. But they're getting attacked on two sides, which is nice. I don't like the Soviet icon. Uh, this, the flag's okay, but... This? It's just a star? A yellow star over some red flag? That's, uh... Eh. Eh. The Navy isn't great, which is, you know, whatever. They two to four million manpower, a lot of divisions. Makes sense. Where are you guys right there? That's good. I'm gonna cut you down to one, so we can upgrade you guys later. We got the Army XP. Next up, we're going to do our own strategies. While we can learn much from others, we must ensure that we can be self-reliant in creating our own strategies and battle plans. Yes. So, District Command, we're going to duplicate this again. Lesser... Oh. Caps Locks is on. Lesser Inf. Um, good. We're going to save that. Remove that and actually put artillery on these guys. And make you 10 combat with. Just so it makes it a little easier for us to upgrade these guys later on. And I'm actually going to make two of these at a time. One for regular infantry, two for the other stuff. Just so that we have a good front line. And it doesn't cost us that much support equipment, if anything. Alright, are you guys up here yet? Bruh, seriously, come on, move, 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 move. I could set him down that way, but we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. Good. 1940, happy 1940, my friends. We could get better radar. How about nuclear South Africa? I think so. <sighs> Japanese are try trying to attack so hard. They're doing pretty well in war support. We get 1.2 political power a day. I love it. Wow, what's the supply like here? It looks pretty darn bad. Alright. I'm going to have you guys come like here. Maybe. Yeah, supply is terrible around here. Or something like that. Maybe not. Maybe they're just moving. That's why it's bad. 0 out of 13, 3 out of 21. Get out of there so that... Oh, they're already on the line. Oh, wait, no, they're, are they tra they're not training. Total attrition. State? Oh, is this, is this... No, it's just planes. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Why a state plus 5%? Is, it, is that a China thing? Unbalanced industry, illiterate population, spirit of freedom. Nah, that's too many enemies, man. Maybe? No. No. Nah. Uh, at this point, we might as well just get in the war, then. That's fine with me. Go well, grab a civilian factory. Thank you. Good. We need more support equipment. That's awesome. Make board a time, then. That's fine by me. We might want some logistic companies as well. You might as well help out here. Good. Very nice. Very good. We might as well try to help out here, too. These guys are our normal... Oh. Oh. You're the 6th combat width, which, eh, could be worse. Everyone else is like 20 combat width, which isn't bad. Nice. Uh, nah, we good, man, we good. So, we're intervening in Chinese affairs. It is what it is, but they're suffering from supply issues, kind of, as well. Which is kind of good. For us. Ah, our own strategy is great. An army for the nation. Finally, we can say that we possess our own army. One not controlled or dictated by the Empire, but created and run by our own union. Controlled, huh? Controlled. I'm gonna need to shrink these guys up so we can concentrate them more. Arabia's gone. That's nice. That's, not, that's very nice. Hmm. Now oh, you're still moving down, which is fine. Hmm. Oh, Bulgaria, you wanna go to war? No, I'm good, guys. I'm good. You guys should do fine right there. I can't imagine. Actually, what does that poor industrialization thing do? Yeah, just the output. Okay, the US declared one of the Philippines. Are they by themselves? Yeah, they're by themselves. Vincent 
Limb. All right, very cool, very cool. Let them attack us, let them wear themselves out. Fewer guns, the better. What else? Nice, we're doing well in support equipment. I love it. That's for military police as well as logistic companies. Yeah, if people keep canceling their non-aggression back, I need more guys guarding against the Italian boys eventually. Uh, right here might be very good as well. Research, what's going on? Nice, advanced sub-warfare. We're going to keep this going probably. Oh, subs get more HP. That's cool. I was not like they had a lot to begin with, but you know, whatever. I could do this next one, but I'm going to wait just first because I do want to get logistic companies and not to forget to actually get them. I've been accused of the past, and rightfully so, of me forgetting to choose or to get support companies that I should have gotten. Hungry, what are you doing? What are you doing, Hungry? If we can cut off Nanjing from everyone else, that would be great. But to do that, we're going to have to strike over the river somehow. That's a lot of guys in here with a lot... That's a lot of supply. Hmm. After this war's over, I'll probably give this mostly to who? Probably Japan. That'd probably be for the best. Alright, let's, let's concentrate our guys a little bit more here. Hmm. The best place. Can we make an place around here? I mean, that's a, that's a huge river. There's a lot of rivers around here. Probably this tile would be the best to attack. Unless there's something down here. I want to concentrate guys like right here. Cut off the capital from everyone else. I and mean, you know what? Leave a hole here? You know what? So be it. Alright. These guys are getting in line. Getting in line. Right here is where we want to concentrate our forces. Next up, propaganda campaign. More weekly war support, but we're doing fine. More output. I like the output. But let's get some more rubber. I think it sounds pretty nice. More rubber. Oh. Factory wise, we're doing. We ain't doing too bad. Not gonna lie, not too bad. Oh, we're running out of space down here, which is fine. I mean, we have other islands we can build upon now, which is good. Give me two more military factories. All right, boys, an army for the nation. Now we have a bonus for land doctrine. Next up, UK, Union Air Force, yeah, everything else on the right. So, reliance on the Imperial Navy. Something tells me we're probably not going to rely on them. Rely on ourselves, though. So, the Imperial Navy has served its purpose, but what happens if the Empire should become our enemy? We must begin relying on ourselves and create a navy of our own entirely under our own control. And we get more dockyard construction speed. Good. Now, oh, they're actually doing well breaking through over there. Right through over here. I had a force, made him force attack, which is good. And then half you guys are gonna go. Well, stay there because we're gonna encircle Nanjing already. You might as well help support the attack, I suppose. Good. Cut off China from this of China. This is good stuff. You could actually open up another front here if we take out Maklik or eh, maybe Tibet. Or Yunnan. They have non-aggression with other people. Sichuan. That might be better to do, actually. Give more of China to Japan so we have another front against the Russians here. Actually, how is Germany doing here? They're not doing great in some places. They're really attacking a lot. Hmm. They're definitely struggling. They're slowly pushing into the Baltics. And soon enough... Get rid of that tile. There you go. That'd be better. Good. Hey, look, an encirclement. Send one guy to help out. It's only three divisions now. We good, guys. We good. <sighs> I love coffee. <coughs> but sometimes you drink too much at once. <clears throat> now, a game remove would be to come right here, fight through some terrible mountains, take Nanchang. Nanchang? Nanchang? Something like that, please. I'm not racist. That's just how you spell it or say it. I don't know. Tianjin? Cool. I'm really surprised. Why is the Russian... They keep calling me in, but why don't they fight anyone else? Hmm. Give control state request license production. That guy's balding, man. You know, might need to fix your hairline. Um, oh, oh, they were a commune. I did not know that. Well... You're looking for, oh, you're taking out Georgia, too. Holy crud. Wow. Nationalize. This one's pretty good to do. We could use more space. Gabon? Oh, we're building with Gabon. So, oh, also, there's another comment from yesterday was that uh, Italy starts with uh, Cameroon just because the British don't really own Cameroon in this timeline, so... 
Ah, uh, yes. Military police. Let's go back. It's 1940. We could get snorkels, but I've heard that snorkels aren't really that great right now. We'll do that later. Let's do this one. Combined operate operations rating. More surface detection, rating efficiency organization, and these guys get more stats too. Which is always nice. Alright, throw on some of these bad boys. Does that hurt us at all? No. If anything, it just makes us stronger. Reliance on ourselves, great. Protect our shores. Let's grab Grand Battle Fleet. We find ourselves in a unique position as being close to having the greatest navy on the African continent, which we probably do. Let us work towards creating a grand fleet to crush any enemies fool enough, foolish enough to challenge us. If possible, I might even create some light cruisers and some battleships. I love battleships. Do something like that. Let's see how far you can get. Because, darn it, they took Nanjing, which is a really bad idea. Now that the capital's down in Nanning, that's not good. How many men have we lost? We've lost 1,000. Okay, 1,200. We have killed off, though, less than 17,000. Alright, well, whatever. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. In Germany, please stop attacking when you don't need to. What are the casualties like? Happy 1941, my friends. Happy 1941. That's a lot of casualties. But that's still quite a bit for them, too. Oh, they're relatively close to capitulating. 76% of the way there. Chilean, Argentinian War. It is what it is. Kur the Kurdish? This is a very aggressive Iran. Of course, they are under the protection of the Imperial Protection Alliance, so that makes sense. Oh, that is dis There's no one to challenge British power here at all. Oh my goodness. Pact of Rome, please go to war with the Brits. Are we going to liberate someone here now? Oh. Well. UK there. British Arabia. Expand... Banning air bases? Come on, please fight. Or challenge them. Okay, they're fighting Yemen. Please challenge the lion. I'd like to know which way they can go. Huh. Wait, hold on. Okay, so... Okay. This is a little different. So, R Romania has been freed with a coolish flag. With being a puppet of... Italy. Interesting. Now, Germany still owns their lands. But they gave some of the Romanian lands to Hungary, which has cored Northern Transylvania. Okay, not bad. That's really not too bad. Interesting. Alright, so the supply is absolutely terrible around here. Absolute trash. Something like there to there. Maybe something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, so got some more RMXP. How much... Oh, we, have new we need more support equipment. That is something we're going to be working on for quite a bit now. Any more aluminum? We got a grand battle fleet. Let us grab next. Submarine warfare. Time to change, and as, as has warfare on the high seas. Submarines are the vessels of destruction, capable of decimating entire convoys. This is the future of naval warfare, and a future we should pursue. Let's see, you are 20 combat width. Gets in you there, but just kind of build up that main army right there. That'd be fine. China will fall soon enough. God dang, does supply suck around here. Even the Chinese are feeling problems with supply. I might just send my guys down here. But su even supplies don't... Oh, God, it's so bad everywhere. Uh, ooh. Are you the new guys? They are the new guys. I'm going to put you on a new general. Von Rensberg. Uh, do that first. Nah, we good, man. We good. Probably beat these guys up like this. Beat them up, push them back, push them out. Nanjing will fall soon enough as long as we give it a little bit more time. The Germans and the Japanese will do fine there. They'll do fine there. Oh, well, they're on fire. That's good. Nippon. I don't know why you don't call the Russians in. Seriously. They need help on this front. Just for propaganda. Uh, war bonds. We can take that decision for now. That's fine with me. We're building a military factory. Let's grab maybe... Fuel's doing really well, actually. Really, really well. Yeah, build one of those. Or maybe build two of those. That's pretty good. Build. Love it. Awesome. Spread you guys out a little bit more. How much longer do we get logistic companies? Three weeks. 
until we've discovered what the heck logistic companies are. Go and help them out. And we'll attack down here. Good, good, good. Nanjing, or Nanning is getting attacked, which is great. Oh, Kus, do you have anything for us? No, but you're level, level four, that's pretty good. Does this dude, this bald guy, Piet, have anything? No, does anyone else have, no, okay, whatever. Another division, great. These are probably the other two. Great, how many guys do we need on this warrior? One, two, three, four, five, six-ish, which is fine. Submarine warfare, great. Protect our shores. While the army is more than capable of defending our nation by land, we still risk a naval invasion by sea. Our navy must be well equipped to protect our shores and ensure the security of our people. Yes. Uh, we could do that. Whatever. We're probably going to go choose fighter stuff just because we can. Even though I love tanks. Oh, they sound white piece. You know, whatever. Whatever. Who can actually defend against us, sort of. But not really. Ooh. Nice, this place is entirely circled. Great job, guys. Great. Beat him up. Let's go ahead when you can. And let's grab some fighter stuff. Milan is leading our country into the great future. How much support equipment? Oh, we have none. So it's probably a bad idea to do this now, but whatever. Make sure this group gets all the support equipment first. That would be good. Yeah, that hurt our support equipment by quite a bit. So, there we go. Military factories? Sure. Where are we going to build them, though? Gabon is looking mighty awesome with all that infrastructure. We'll be done by a month. Holy crap. That's really good. Ah, uh, encirclements. And you two are... Awesome, 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 awesome. You're good right there. Then we're going to build another front right there and then build more fronts against potential British thingies. Put you under a new field marshal. Let's grab a new guy named Joubert Rief. Bretief. That's enough. I love the attack. The spirit of attack shall sustain us. Very good, very good. Surprised I haven't capitulated yet, though. Oh, mechanized offensives. Not sure how it's going to really help us. Let's see. Airland battle. Uh, heart attack. If we fight a lot of armor, that's good, but air superiority isn't bad. Soft attack. Recon. Recon. Eh. All frontline battalions, all infantry, they just... I gotta do shotgun, I gotta. Oh. You guys come right here, squash them. When you can. That'd be great. Alright, so Nanning is still the capital. They have five divisions down there. Wow, guys, what are you doing? Just take them out. And what are we missing? Oh, we need... Oh, we need motorized. Ooh. Let's at least get one on those. We're building a factory up anyways. That would be great. Protect our shores. We're doing escort ships. Our trade combos are essential to our economic growth and continued development. It only makes sense to give them escorts, especially if conflict appears to be on the horizon. Well, I don't know about the horizon. But, I mean, there's a little bit of war going on right now. we we'll probably do well there eventually. Good. Smash them, smash them. Smash them, smash them. There's bad supply, and it's very hot here. Mm, makes sense. Uh, yeah, maybe attacking over the river probably wasn't a great idea. But once we get this guy over here, we can probably do pretty well. There you go. Good. Very nice. I go that way. Oh, there's... Oh, no wonder we're struggling. There's seven divisions there, and our supply isn't great. Ah, I love it. Now, Jing, they're stacking more soldiers there. Whatever. Finish these guys off. Great. And they're done! Great! Alright, so this is gonna suck. But Nippon, what we're gonna do, we're gonna give some to their puppet. The Bai Sangguo? They're definitely gonna get some of this stuff. Alright, that should be enough for now. Bai Sangguo, there you are. Juda? Um, I'm not really sure who else to divide this with, but I'm gonna give most of it to Japan. If they wanna give it to their puppets, they probably can. Or or are able to... Can you take all states? There you go. There you go. Very nice. Next... I kind of do want to help out the Germans in in Europe. But at the same time... Getting... Breaking open... Opening up another front to the Russians... Would help her give us some um, security in Europe. To say the least. 
So, you know, the Russians are uh, looking pretty mighty right in here, and the Germans, really, some divisions aren't doing so great around here. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna be a loss. Can I see this? Okay, I can't see. Current wars. Well, that's not good. Volksdeutsch Jugend? Hmm. Seems like young people's party. Youth people's party. Cool, we've got plenty of guns. We need motorized artillery. Uh, we need a lot more things. Put you at the bottom for now, maybe. Yeah. Work around that a little bit. Push these guys out. Nippon might do something with this. I really don't know. You don't think it would be good to get rid of, but that's okay. Which means now there's more divisions that Japan can send elsewhere. Now I'm sure. Japan, you were taking this area out pretty darn well. Why did you give up on it? What the heck, Japan? Well, the Japanese are very Japanese and special. But if I cause a war here, no one can really complain too much. So, defensively. Our own fleet shall be a defensive one. Focus on much more than protecting our own shores and taking the fight to the enemy. Let them come to us so we can show them the might of South Africa. Which actually doesn't help us at all, but whatever. Good. 75 more days, which isn't bad. Give us some time. State? I don't understand why state is so bad. Is it just because of the... It must be because of the infrastructure. It's gotta be that. It's gotta be. Alright. If you refuse to let the Russian Republic fight the Japanese, or fight the, these guys, then I'm not gonna help, man. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Six guys down there, that's good. Guns, great. Artillery's doing pretty well. Modras is getting better. So is support equipment. And we're even maybe making a fighter on the occasion. Love it. Making more refineries, that's awesome. How is Occupied States doing right now? Civilian oversight, civilian oversight. There's no way I can get even more compliance quicker, so... Civilian oversight is pretty much where it's at. Or I could do no garrison, but that would be really bad. Nice. Another factory for us. 52 factories, my friends. 52. Awesome. Don't worry, guys. I'm only going to cause another war for us. Let's trade off one more of these. That'd be great. Now I can produce these at full strength. Mm, you guys are looking okay. We got plenty of naval XP now. That's not too bad. Can we get better radar? Not yet, not yet. War support. Is it going down? Weekly change. Huh. I don't like that. Getting better logistic companies, which is awesome. Save on logistic companies. These guys are going to flood through China until the J Japanese can rush more divisions through here. I seriously don't understand. Why Why are you not guarding your borders, man? Oh my goodness, are they attacking? Eh, kind of, but they're getting attacked back. Defense fleet. Fleet in command. No fleet is complete without good command. We must ensure that our admirals, admirals and captains are the best of the best, able to fulfill their missions and duties to the letter. Great, you know what? I'm going to do this. You guys are great, but it looks like we could really use some help here to hold the line. Here. Just in case. I know I don't really want to do that, but I kind of feel like I have to help out them up there. As we cause another war here. And then go to Bethlehem. And then go there. And then push into there. Which would be great. Happy 1941. Let's grab some output. I should have got this earlier. But, oh well. Guns are looking amazing. A lot of stock. Cool. Should be able to go to war with these guys soon enough. And about a little more than a month. That'll be good. Oh, they actually released these guys. Interesting. I guess the Republic of Turkey is not joining the Stahl Pact, which is fine. But I don't like seeing all these independent nations. I really do not. And you fellas are 10 and 10, which is great, because we're going to put you under here now. Under new leadership. Such as... Andris Retiaf. Are you related to another good dude? Go and do that. And then we're going to get another person because we are completely undefended against the British if things go south. Which is honestly probably not a smart idea. There you go. go. Combined operations rating. I love it. Construction speed. We're doing really well in fuel. We can still use more military factories, though. Get bon. Uh 30%. You might as well put it there. Nice. We're doing well with fuel. Doing well with rubber. I'm loving it. Loving the rubber. Now, this is not going to be good initially just because there's no divisions down here. It'll be what it'll be, though. Come on, come on. Let's, let us go to war. The faster we can go to war, the faster we can finish this stuff up. Good. 
Durky. I love Durky. God, we go through so many focuses now compared to like everything else. And we'll do Africa's superpower, naval superpower. With the hard work we have put into our navy over these past few months and years, we've positioned ourselves as Africa's premier naval superpower. The continent is ours to rule. It better stay that way. Cool. For now, go ahead and just stack up guys here. That'd be good. Good. Nippon, come on. Get them in. Yeah. Have our guys showing up here? Because I will join the war, just to help defend the lands for now. We're doing better support equipment. We're doing really well in motorized as well now. Nice. Very nice. Just defend. That's the main goal. Don't know why Germany wanted to go to war with all these guys, but whatever. Let's cause another war. And they immediately attacked us here, which is fine with me. Oh, the Italians are here. Oh. Cool. You shall do my bidding. So I can help you. Nice. And I... This is glitched. I can't see that. Okay, whatever. Anything else I could do here? Probably not. Probably not. You guys can move up there, though. With little to no issues, you guys can probably both move there. 2v2, you might be able to win here. Oh, and these guys are struggling a little bit. That's fine. Help them out maybe a little bit more. Good. And we got some... That's actually really fast for atomic research. Holy cow. Uh, production efficiency cap. Maybe get more fuel and rubber. Actually, we're doing pretty well with fuel and rubber, honestly. You might just consider just moving in. Just in case. How many divisions do this, does this group have? That's quite a few. But a lot of manpower. Oh, and they actually have Xinjiang as a puppet. That's actually pretty good. Go ahead and do that. I gotta open up a new front for us. South Africa's thinking. Maybe not thinking correctly, but they're still thinking. Good. Motorized support equipment. Looking very nice. I will ally or get in there once our soldiers have arrived, which I guess they actually have. Oh, cool. Well, some of them have. Not all of them yet. But you can go ahead and get involved. Nice. Alright, so with that in mind, we're going to pull you. And we are going to do something here. Oh, they're getting attacked over here pretty darn strongly. Something like that. That should be good. We should. Do, you guys should be able to defend this fairly okay in Brest Litovsk. But up there, you're probably going to get whacked pretty darn hard. Now, Kus, Devet. Oh. Or Piat, what do you have for us? Nothing. Of course you don't. Kus. Kus, Kus. Learn, my friend. And we're a naval superpower. Next up, the Union Air Force. Our Air Force is lacking in strength and size. Absolutely. But the time has come to change that. Pretty much. Pretty much. There's really not much else to say about that. Propaganda. I love propaganda. We could raise our conscription and wartime mobilization, but eh. We're kind of doing okay already. Go ahead and help them out of here. It's over river. I know it's unfortunate, but... Taiyuan would be great to have. Come on, come on. That might be all we need. It might not be. Probably not. We'll see what happens. Now, I'd love to see the casualties for this, but obviously we cannot see them. Cool. They have one civilian factory, a couple of military factories. That'd be good for Japan. Maybe not good for the resistance, but you know, whatever. 100 political power. Chromium. I'm going to do this eventually just to get rid of it. Weekly war. Well, you know what? We already have 100%. We're good. This doesn't last very long, but I'll get more output. Screw it. We could use more things. We could probably use more guns, actually. Centralized fire control. Let's get some forward observers. More recon. For the recon, even though we don't have recon. We'll get recon eventually. Come on, kick them out. Stop letting them throw in more divisions. They're running out of guns, which is nice. And if we go to war with the Great Mongolian States, that'd be great. But we're going to go with Maklik next. And then we'd have a border. And then maybe the Great Mongolian State. To get Russia, the Russian Republic, hopefully, maybe... Or at least the Japanese and their allies fully into the war against the Soviets, because here, I'm bad at sucking up a lot of our guns and stuff. Actually, supply isn't too bad around here. You're going to get a lot of experience, George. Hopefully. Nice. He's looking pretty weak. Good. Oh, man, they're flooding up through here. That is not ideal. That is really not ideal. If we left here, they might attack us ferociously, but we... Hmm, Germany's not doing too well against les Soviets. 
They probably still have a lot of strength left, though. Yeah, a lot of divisions, a lot of manpower. The Union Air Force, though. And we shall do Raider Expansion, Total War. Radar expansion. Radar helps us tremendously in intercepting incoming planes and tracking our own operations. By expanding the radar operations across our country, we will be able to effectively wage war should we have to. Yes. Should we have to. Oh, now we're just kind of repairing all sorts of different things. If that's the case, build us up a little bit more. Mm, right there. And then right there. Eventually, I do want to build up like a lot of infrastructure. There's a lot of places we can build stuff, maybe. Oh, especially down here. Oh yeah, definitely build this all up. Let's let time go on a little bit. Blop. Come on. There we go. Can't really build too much in Rayuan, Rayuanan, Reunion Island. That's basically what it is. Uh, all these places need more infrastructure. Uh, sure, yeah, I'll take some motorized. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, guys, yeah. Oh god, we're out of guns. Oh boy. Oh boy. Defending with the help of the Germans. You know, it is what it is. Now, you guys. Really focus down here. This probably will be the last thing we need to do to, to capitulate them. Take Yan An. That'd be great. Defensive planning. Eh. Service propaganda. War. War bonds. Yeah. Alright, so, us defending here is pretty good. They can do pretty well here. Over here, I don't like it, just because they're making themselves weaker and weaker. We get Dispersed Industry. Let's get some more Excavation 3, because our resources could be doing a little bit better. Deutsche Reich, thank you. What is there? Oh! Zhongzi clique is gone! Great! And I could give it to their puppets. Hmm. That looked really bad. Just give it to Japan. Cool. And that's where we're going to leave today's episode. Well, so what have we done, my friends? Well, we haven't done too much in Africa. We're defending ourselves pretty well. We're preparing to defend ourselves against the UK or the Italians. The Germans are not doing great against the Ukrainians or the Soviets. And Japan doesn't want to call the Russian Republic into the war against the Soviets for some goddamn reason. But tomorrow we will go to war with McLeek. And go to war with the Great Mongolian State to fully have a massive two-front war against the Soviet Union. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we have a great time together and making sure Africa is fully ours. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.